<laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? How nice to hear you already know who it is. You don't know what we're doing. We're here for SKL tier. Um, well, yeah, I should describe that guy as my first week, isn't it? So, SKL, I don't know what it stands for, still don't. I am the reigning champion of season 5. Y'all know that. I'm pretty sure y'all know that. If you don't know that, y'all know that now. And here we are in season 6. So, last season, season 5, was a tiers draft, standard tiers draft, like. I don't know if it was GPA tiers, but it was like basically GPA tiers, so that's just what we did. And now we're doing tier 3 and below, so now it's points. Points tier 3 and below? I think it's points tier 3 and below. So like, they're tiered off into points. It's like a mix of tiers of points. It's like, it's like when they make the tiers of all the points, it's not like the standard points, like 1 to 18. It's like the tiers, like 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 kind of points. So... Yeah, I never know what to call those tiers or points, but I guess you don't get any free tiers. Like, you're not required to have any tiers, so I guess it's technically points. I don't, I don't really know, but that's just what we did, tier 3 and below. So, I was going to make a draft analysis, but then I really don't like making draft analysis, because I never know what to say, and I would kind of just freeload my drafts, and I would just pick Pokemon I think are good, and they kind of just fit together to be able to hollow nasty playstyle. So, that's just that. So, you know, the team I brought here against uh, Muskrat Catcher, um, it's a showdown name. Um, he was an admin in season 5, but he's no longer an admin here in season 6. Um, um, yeah, I don't remember his team very well, I just know it showed up. But I, anyway, I brought Spadef to uh, Togetic on with Defox. I wanted to be his rockers. I had Toxic on it. I think with Spadef, I could take on the card being pretty fine. Um, I realized later on this game, I probably need a little more defense, but it was whatever. I, I thought, you know, just Evie Light would be fine, so that was just that. I brought Nasty Plot. Um, what is this Pokemon called? Persian Lola. I brought nice about Persian Lola. I think choose on his team. I had a Dark Pulse. I think um, a little that I learned that I learned next week that we can get week after this. This is week one. I learned week two that I should just be running Snarl. Snarl's the technology with technician. But I was fur coat, so Dark Pulse made a lot of sense. Um, so I did want to take some hits like um, what I want to hit from. Like I said, Aurora. But I had to get from that. But I was Power Gem. I didn't want to get that. But like really, what I'm talking about is the Bandit Aqua Jet. Crawled on. I was looking at that. I was like, yeah, I don't really want to hit with like Aqua Jet, and so I want Furco. So that's pretty much that. I brought Shaman. Uh, my Shaman max special attack, max HP. That was my Shaman set because Shaman put a lot of pressure to his team, even with the max HP. Um, made it fine. Get this crawled on to check this crawled on. So that was that, and it just beats everything like really well. Charizard. I was Z Sunny Day because I'd just choose on his team. I should have run Focus Blast because I had Air Splash. It's whatever. Just be like that sometimes. Golark was just standard Stealth Rocks, I don't even remember, and Scyther was just, well, you know, the standard Scyther that I run, Evil Light, Sword Stance. So let's dive into the game. So he leads Incineroar. I was thinking, like, well, maybe I should try to get Incineroar in lead, but I decided not to. I thought he needed Incineroar for Charizard, but he just leads it, and I Toxic here. That's obviously my best play. He's Sword Stance, and this was definitely really greedy by him, in my opinion. So I go Charizard. I know I have to fire off the Z-Fire, um, the Fire Blast, because, you know, I kind of need this thing dead, and just the way things go. So he Darkest Larry and he kills. Now I'm in, I can revenge it, so I go Scyther, I click Aerial Ace, and I die. So I trade Charizard for Incineroar. Um, I didn't necessarily want to make that trade. He definitely forced his trade. I thought I still think this was very, 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 very greedy by him. If I was Focus Blast, if he Focus Blast, he just loses Incineroar for free. So, um, yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. So he goes Carbank. I did have the Steel Wing, I think, on the Scyther. I could have done it, but I didn't want Rocks up, so I go I go for the Defog, and I juke this Toxic, which is very good news. And I fire up a Toxic on myself, he goes Trevenant. You know, I thought, I was like, okay, cool, this thing got um, Toxic, that's good for my Shaman. But apparently this thing gets Natural Cure. So there's that. So I go Gurlark, and, you know, I, I Quake here. I Magic Coded here. And then he switched out, can you believe that? I thought he'd trade me Rocks, because Rocks are, you know, I got a Scyther Togetic. I thought I thought he wanted to trade me Rocks. But I guess he doesn't want to trade me Rocks. So here, here he spins. I could have stayed in, but I really didn't get anything. Getting Shaman in for free is a like GOAT. So I did predict him to go into the Trevenant, so I go Persian. And I nasty plot here. Um, I also didn't learn until after the game that Carbon gets sturdy. Because this was a mineral. And uh, Carbon gets sturdy. So I get toxic. I'm like, that's kind of annoying. Did I snarl her? Or Dark Pulse? I probably Dark Pulse here. Would be my best play. Yeah, I Dark Pulse here. So I get the kill in Carbon. Now I know there's not going to be any more rocks. Which is, you know, ideal. Um, he goes Crawdon. I'm going to go Shaman. And he clicks the young Aqua Jet. And then I think this is where I learned that it was Bandit. And I'm like, okay, that's a Bandit Crawdon. So. I still I could not figure out this Trevenant set for the, my life of me. Um, turns out he was AV. I couldn't tell if he was banded with like special defense or AV with mad attack. 
but I think he was AV. So I already said this is here, I think. No, I see Flare. I did predict the switch. I did get the crit. No spadaf drop. No, I would prefer the spadaf drop over the crit, I think. Because I think with the spadaf drop, I would be able to 2 a KO this mess spirit. Um, but it's whatever. I go hard to Jedi on the Dolphin. He's just clicking Roar, so I'm thinking at this point he doesn't have Stone Edge. Which means that my Scyther could probably win. So I'm going to fire off Dark Pulse here. I did 34%. Mm, that's got some bulk to it. Um, that's not what I like to say. I don't like to see that. You really hate to see that. I decided to sack off Golurk. Because I didn't want to make. The, I didn't want to take a 50-50 with a Bandit Crawl on my Shaman being weakened. So, yeah. So I send this up. I Seed Flare. This is a mid-ish roll. And, yeah. He's Iapa Berry. And I Seed Flare again. He recycles. I keep him out of Iapa range. So... This is also very lucky. Um, it wasn't quite minish, but it was like pretty close to min. So definitely feeling good. Still could have gotten us, but after off that, that would have been nice. But PP starting to kind of become an issue here. So I hard out in a version, sacking it off, and he makes a good play and horn leeches me here. So none of these things a little healthier than I want it to be, but it's whatever. So I go Scyther. I source dance. Did I source dance? No, I really is here. He makes a predict. I get the crit. I like crits. Um, this one also kind of mattered. Source dance. He roars. Um, I, yeah, I didn't think he had stone edge. Still. Um, he, now he's Stone Edge, like, I guess he does have Stone Edge. I de-gleam it, or I'm just getting damage off. I believe I go Hard Shaman now. Um, and I get the prediction. It wasn't really a prediction, but I can call it that. I see Flare, the Scrawl on dead. Goes out in Trevenant. I go Hard Scyther. He Rock Slides, I juke it. And this mattered a little bit, maybe. It was a roll on my Scyther, so it could have mattered, could have not mattered. I Aerial Ace, I kill. Um, I mean, I guess he couldn't really switch out unless he has Ice Shard, which I think I saw his entire move pool. I don't think he had Ice Shard. So, there's that. And now I go Shaman, and I think back like Psychic, and I win the game. So, that was a good, clean victory, or a kind of clean victory. Could have been clean, could have not been clean. I don't really know. Um, it was very situational. There was a lot of, like, rolls that this game came down to. Like, the Rocks have been a roll. There have been the rolls on the Mess Spirit. Um, I thought Carbink was a roll for a while. Um, even though it gets sturdy apparently. So I would have played around it differently if I realized that. Um, you know, just a few spadaf drops could have had with a 40% chance on the seed flare. I could have missed the seed flare, but, you know. So it's a really close game, it really came down to. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, a few things went differently, he might have won. With basically just rolls. So, yeah, that was that. So that was the game one, though. Pretty content with how it went. Um, now, nah, guys, I'll catch your last for next week. So, peace.